Hey guys, and welcome to a bit of a collection video. Um, I, I've kind of dabbled in this a little bit with a uh, with Pokemon cards, and you see me playing the video games. But I, I collect a lot of other things as well. And one of the very first collections that I, I started was actually not because of me. It was because of my grandfather, who got me one of these every year for Christmas and I have continued that for ooh, uh, 21 years at this point um, and it, it's the the Hess trucks you know how they release one every year so I, I've received one every year as a Christmas present from my pop-up and then every year since he passed away I've been getting one from him from Santa you know anyway um, so th this first video will show you uh, first, I'll, I'll show you all of the boxes that I, I have so far, and then I'm going to take them out and show you a few at a time. And then we'll, we'll break it up bit by bit and see, see how it goes. So, uh, tune in. So, uh, here is the entirety of the collection. There's lots of boxes there. You can see every... Uh, release from 1996 to 2016. So the, right here is 96 and then it goes up and then up and then that guy right there is 2016. So I'm gonna open up this first column here and show you the different ones that I have and all their fun little features. Okay, so uh, the first one that I have here is from 1996. Uh, it is a fire truck. Um, it's got a ladder. Now, I can't guarantee I have all the parts or that all the batteries work, but it's still cool to see. It's a, it's a nice little piece of uh, toy history, if you will. And it's worth uh, taking, taking a look at. Yeah, I can already tell you I'm missing parts of the ladder, and so so here it is. Um, it's, it's got this this little ladder thing that spins. Uh, it's got a rotating light thing going on here, like a spotlight. Um, yeah, the lights and sounds do not work, and you can tell that uh, it's gotten some overuse from playtime when I was a, a little little tyke. So yeah, th this is the first one I got from my pop-up. It's from 1996 and it's a fire truck. Next we have a truck from 1997 with two race cars inside the, uh, the trailer of it. Uh, I'm willing to bet that the lights don't work on this one either. <laughs> Uh, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, wait, hold, that's a, that's an easy fix. Oh, it, it's just the the place for the batteries popped out. That's all, like that. Uh, so here it is. It's got two two trucks in the the trailer there. And yeah, now the cool thing about these earlier ones is that it had a little spinny thing. Spin. Come on. To open the back, and then there was a hold on little uh, little ramp thing for them to go on. As a kid, I played with these a ton, obviously because they're they're a little beat up. But I'm not really looking to sell them or maintain their uh, value, so to speak. Yeah, the lights don't. Work. Eventually, I'd like to display them in like a little trophy case type deal, but that's that's when I'm, you know, a professional with a real job and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they aren't real. I'm not looking to sell them. It's just cool to collect, cool to see how the Hess company has transitioned over the years and updated their their toy making capabilities. Uh, next, we have an RV. It's called the, yeah, the Hess Recreation Van. 
Uh, it has a little dune buggy and a motorcyclist that fits in the side. Again, I really don't think that the batteries are, are working. But yeah, at least all the parts are there. Right here in the middle, if it would open, there we go, is where the motorcyclist would go. Just like that. Uh, I like this one a lot because the inside you can kind of see the little detail of the, the driver and stuff. Uh, back here is the dune buggy, and that has a nice little ramp thing going on too. That was fun. I used to give all the cars and their uh, mini cars voices. I'm not going to do that now because that's embarrassing, but uh, it's what it's one of the things I used to do with them. They were all families and they all played together. It was a whole whole thing. Uh, the next year, from 1999, you know, was uh, this thing. This thing is cool. I wonder. If, I really wonder if it still works. It is a. It's another truck with a trailer, but this one has a space shuttle attached to it in the back there. Now this this was cool because it detached just like that, and you could see. It fits right in there. Uh, there's no ramp, but that's okay. It doesn't really have wheels, and rockets don't really use wheels because they fly in space and stuff. I don't think we'll get noises or lights. I was right. But uh, let's put this together so you can see how it how it worked. The uh, back had a little thingy. Why am I failing words? And then it had two side wings. Wings, that's the word I'm looking for. Wings, a little wing thing going on. And then you would hit this button up top and. Yeah, that, that was about the coolest thing that. Uh, see, this was 99, so I was four, four year old me was having a blast with that thing. I would hit that constantly. And then it was selling, selling, sending telecommunications to all the other car families that I was playing with as a child. So there's 1999, the truck and space shuttle. Next came the year 2000, and I guess Hess felt that it was necessary to have ourselves another fire truck. Now this one's ladder is fully intact. I do not believe the lights work because the batteries died and it's been uh, 17 years since it's really been used. But there, it's a much bigger ladder than the first one. Size doesn't always matter, but in the case of this, it was cooler and it could save more people and climb higher buildings. There you go. Had little buttons here that were noises gave uh, sirens and the lights flashed and all that. I probably should have just replaced the batteries, but um, fun little fact, I just discovered the location of my Hess trucks because I, I was moving between apartments and things like that and I, I stored them away somewhere and now I found them all. And I wanted to show you so you could see one of the first collections that I had and how it's Still cool to collect things like toys, even though you're an adult idiot face. Okay. 2001 gave us a helicopter. Um, this one has seen better days. First of all, it's totally discolored, and I don't know why. As you can see from the other ones, they were all white, but this one has a bit of a grass stain type hue thing going on. Um, the uh, lights don't work and it's missing a door, but I think, yeah, the door is on my bed somewhere. And there's a motorcyclist that went in there, and then the back gave you this little truck. Now the cool thing about the, uh, the Hess trucks minicar things was that you could, like, really rev up the, uh, 
the wheels, I'm not going to do it now because it makes an obnoxious noise, and they would go super duper fast and it would be super duper fun to race them. Uh, and I did that often. The, the rotors on top could be adjusted and then they would spin by themselves and you could pretend it's flying like, ah, yeah, cool, right? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, all right, so the last, the last one from that first column I showed you is our 2002 vehicle and it gave us another aircraft kind of like the space shuttle thing thing the jig um, so I at this point in my Hess career I had two two aircraft like miniature aircraft and then one real big one now unfortunately it appears that mine has broken a bit but the light still works, you can see that. Uh, it was a little airplane. I say it's broken because the red piece here kind of lost, lost the battle of time. Um, the, this would spin by itself, but it appears that that functionality is gone. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. No, no, it still doesn't work. But that's okay. It folds, it folds up nicely, like so. And then it, it fit on the uh, little gasoline thing. Gasoline thing. Trailer. Trailer's the word I'm looking for. It had a little ramp thing going on, and yeah. So that's the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, I think first seven trucks that I have collected and all their little mini cars that could race and their aircraft that flew in the sky and they all had voices to summarize uh, and I will show you the next group in the next video of Hess truck collection in the meantime thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode of whatever the heck I make because who knows what I'm gonna make I don't it's fun